Hi, this is Brian with Soul Satisfaction bringing you a Bolo video today. Um, showing you some of my nice flips on eBay, Poshmark, Offer, and Mercari. These are items that I pick up um, locally at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, and I sell them on eBay, Poshmark, Offer, and Mercari for nice profits. So if you want to look, see some of these items, just watch this video. Alright, so here we have a pair of Converse high tops. Um, any Anytime you see the high top Converse, and notice these, these kind of wild patterns. Uh, this is a all-star zebra patchwork. And I picked these up at a local garage sale for $2, sold them on Poshmark for $50. Um, so, so that was a nice flip. Next, we have a pair of Merrill waterproof. Um, hiking shoes. Merrill is a good hiking brand. And also, these were picked up at a garage sale for $2. And once again, sold on Poshmark for $50. Poshmark is a good platform for selling shoes. They sell really well there. So if you're not selling on Poshmark, you need to check it out. Okay, next we have a pair of Ugg boots. Once again, that $50 price range seems to be pretty popular. Um, I think I paid like $5 for these. Okay, here we have a pair of running shoes, Brooks. Brooks are uh, a really good running running shoe brand. These are Brooks Glycerin 13 women's running shoes. Sold them for $60. I think I paid $5 for these also at a garage sale. All right, now this is one of my better flips recently. Um, so this also on Poshmark. So for a whopping $130, I picked this up at a thrift store for, I believe it was $8. Um, you know, the, these are the, the tall leather riding boots, and they were in really good condition. All right, next, staying with the Poshmark theme, we have a pair of Salvatore Ferragamo green suede pumps. Excellent condition. Um, paid $5 for these, sold them for $60. They sold in about a week. Um, in the previous boots, those, those sold in a couple days. So Ariat, and then now we have Salvatore Ferragamo. All right, offer up another another good platform to sell sell items on. Here we have a pair of. Uh, and by the way, these are all used, right? You can definitely make good money if if you know how to do your research, use your eBay comps, um, see what's what's selling, what the, what's sold for. Here we have a pair of Nike Metcon Two cross training shoes. Um, these I did pay up a little bit. I think I paid ten dollars for these. At a thrift store, and they sold on offer up for $69. All right, here you can see how popular boots are. Here we have a pair of Laredo uh, suede lace up boots, you know, really good condition. Paid five for these once again at a garage sale. They sold on, on Poshmark for $52, so really good money. All right, here's, here's our next. Shoe flip, pair of Ralph Lauren ankle boots or booties. Uh, paid two dollars. Uh, one of the garage sales I went to, I bought like ten pairs of shoes, and they they all had the box, and I got them, made a good bulk deal, got them all for two dollars each. So sold these for thirty on Poshmark. Once again, paid two. So another nice flip. All right, these I just re recently these sold this week. Um, picked these up. I did pay up for these sometimes. Sometimes you do want to pay up. Some people get a little nervous. You know, everybody wants the one or two dollar sell that you can sell for fifty. But if you know how to do your research and you, you see what there's what items are selling for, then it's okay to pay up. I paid sixteen dollars for these and they sold for fifty five on Poshmark. Sold less than a week. Ooh, these these be these were some beautiful boots. Um, once again, at a garage sale, these are coral. They're the leather inlaid boots, beautiful condition, paid $8 and sold them on Poshmark for $115. Love those. Anytime you're, you're talking about the $100 profit range, it's definitely a home run. So um, be looking out for the brand Coral and always check out uh, Cowboy Cowgirl boots. They, they, they do really well. 
Eh, and not all not all flips can be home runs. Here we have a pair of Converse, um, good condition, pink Converse, paid two dollars. Sold them for sixteen. Nothing major, but you know it, it is a profit. Next, another Poshmark item. We have a pair of Sperry Topsiders leather boat shoes. Another two dollar. Actually, I think I got these at the bins, uh, at the Goodwill bins. Um, paid two dollars for these. For the, if if you have a bins near you, you know it's worth going out there. You can find some great deals. You 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 able to buy by the pound. Um, these sold for fifty and only paid two dollars for them. So another great deal. Okay, next we have another offer up sell. This is a pair of Brooks Go Seven running shoes. Once again, Brooks, great brand for runners. Um, these sold for fifty-five, and I believe I paid five dollars. I don't remember whether it was a garage sale or a thrift store. Okay, next we have a pair of Crocs. Notice the two-tone on these. These were unusual. They caught my eye. Crocs um, surprisingly do really well. Paid two dollars at a a charity garage sale and these sold for 55 they sold pretty quickly too this was back in late july all right next we have a pair of keen voyager hiking shoes uh, hiking shoes do really well also and keen is a good brand um, when you're looking at these shoes make sure you're checking out the bottom make sure the bottom of the soles are in good condition there's no tears no holes i know this isn't a very good picture so small uh, but these were in good shape and they sold for 50. I think I paid five for those. All right. And even though I love shoes, it's not the only thing I sell. Here was a garage sale fine. Only paid $2 for this. Um, this was an offer up purchase. Uh, they sell, got a Marantz vintage. This is from the 80s receiver amplifier model number SR520. Had this gold color, which is what, what caught my eye. And Marantz is a really good brand. Uh, sold it for $125, bought it for two, you know, tested it out. It was worth paying $2 for the gamble because I did my research. And even if it hadn't worked, you know, people will buy these things even for parts sometimes. But it, it did work. It tested it. And it sold for really good money, $125. All right. Staying with the vintage theme, here we have a 1985 Miller High Life. Um, lighted pendulum clock this sold on offer up for 80 bucks i got this at a local thrift store i did pay ten dollars so 10 to 80. Um, anything beer related beer advertising clocks especially being vintage people really collect this stuff so keep your eyes peeled for those type of items next we have another poshmark sell here we have some um, nike air force one got the purple and black colorway uh, really unique piece. You didn't find very many of these listed on 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 uh, eBay. This I paid ten dollars for at a thrift store, and it did sell for fifty one. So that was another nice flip. <clears throat> the same garage sale where I got all those other shoes in the box boxes for two bucks. Here I picked up a pair of not Nuke. <laughs> these are actually Nike two thousand eight men's Nike shocks. Um, so this for 50 and once again, pay $2, another nice flip. Um, here we have a Baltimore Ravens football youth helmet. You know, so this on, this one was offer up for 50 and I paid three at a garage sale. So helmets, especially if you've got NFL logos on it, um, you know, about, I saw this at the end of summer, right before football season was starting that's something else to consider when you're when you're looking at items keep keep in mind the sports seasons um you know like right now we're in football season basketball is about to start so equipment like this you know bats for baseball and softball there'll be a time you know that they'll move you around but certain times of the year they'll really move quicker and for more money so just kind of be aware of the, the seasons all right, here we have, a, this is a Mercari cell. We have a pair of Skechers Shape Ups, women's size eight and a half. These sold for $85. Um, I think I paid seven or eight for these. I do really well with these Skechers Shape Ups. One thing to look for when you're getting this and the general condition, but also check out the, 
these sides right here. Sometimes, sometimes they can get a hole or tear, and then they're not they're not worth anything. So check out the condition. You know, bend them, twist them, make make sure there's no holes or tears, and the bottoms have good traction. And uh, if you if you do your research, you should be fine. All right, here we have another piece of electronics. This is Offer Up. We have Sony, a good brand, five CD compact disc changer. Model numbers make these really easy to look on the eBay solds to, to see what they're going for. This sold for 50 and I think I paid two or three bucks for that one. All right, next, staying with electronics, we another offer up sell for $65. Here I picked up, <laughs> I never actually paid 50 cents for this at a garage sale, um, a little micro cassette recorder and the tapes. So if you see these, you know, test them out. Make sure they work, and they, you'd be surprised at the money these can bring. Fifty cents brought sixty-five back. Here we have another pair of Uggs. These are leather, uh, waterproof, size seven boots. I think I paid five for these, and these sold for fifty. Uh, Uggs are obviously a good brand to, to be looking out for. All right, and that that's that's it for today. Um, I do have a lot of recent eBay sales I'll, I'll be uploading. So if, if you like this video and want to know more, you know, items to look for to, uh, to be able to sell for good money, go ahead and like this video so that, so that you can help others find this and go ahead and subscribe and you'll be the first to know. I'll have another Bolo video coming soon. So happy hunting.